Hello, beautiful shining friends. Welcome to a brand new week. We are Monday, September 30th, one day away from October. Oh my goodness. Can you feel fall coming in already? We can hear it's getting kind of nippy. I'm still swimming actually, and it's cold in my pool because I don't have a heater, but I love to get ready for winter this way. So I go in anyways after exercise. I'm really enjoying it. And bonus for me, this is day four of my fast and cleanse. So in case you didn't know, I'm a licensed naturopath. And one of the things that I love the most to heal and cleanse and help the body is full fasting, uh, which I do twice a year. And um, I think it's a great way to really heal and tap into the potential of your body. Again, I say it all the time, but I'm going to repeat it. This is something I've been doing it for like 30 plus years, and it's also in my career path. It is not something I would say to anyone to do without support. So if ever this is something that you're interested, um, either with me or with another qualified therapist, make sure that you get support because you're going to want support with that. All right, let's move on to our Akashic guidance and reading for this week. We have, you probably know, but I'm just going to remind you, this week we have a new moon, a new moon in Libra coming in and a solar eclipse. So this means you're going to be feeling the energy to create, which is going to be so great after this energy from the full moon in Pisces of kind of just uh, feeling endings. I'm done with this. This is stopping, but not really knowing where to land, just kind of floating around out there. You're going to feel the power of this new moon and the solar eclipse solidly. It's happening this Wednesday, this Wednesday in mid-afternoon. So you can join us for a ritual or create your own set intentions. Make sure you know in which direction that you want to go. It's going to feel so much more empowering. So this reading, this great reading, most of it was about alignment energy. and. It is calling you to really step into uh, a childlike kind of innocence energy and look at everything through the eyes of a child to be um, joyful about it, to be surprised, not to get too emotionally invested, especially at the beginning of the week. Just let yourself go in there, then take a deep dive and decide what you want, right? So before the new moon comes in, really step into your feelings and your creativity and the power of your mind and the energy that radiates from it, right? Create those emotions that align with the thoughts of what you want to have in your life. Get clear on what it is that you want. You're not taking action at the beginning of the week. You are receiving guidance. You are taking time for yourself. You are aligning, not with what should be, but with what is, what you truly desire. And it could be just calmness. It could be peace. It could be health. It could be wealth. It could be more detailed or more vague. Allow yourself to go in whichever direction that you want. Be clear about it. Midweek, you choose. You choose what you want. You write it down. You set intentions, like short-term intentions. You can go midterm. You can go long-term. And you can absolutely take time to look at the last quarter of 2024 and what you want to bring in. Don't get sweeped up by the hype of you need to create grandiose things for 2024. You can if that is what you're feeling. But don't let that scare you into not setting the intentions and the goals that are truly important to you. Don't let 
the outside noise interfere with the inside peace. Let the inside peace grow and be so strong that it radiates out, clears your vision and your path, and choose to walk on that path as you set concrete steps to walk it, right? You don't want to walk it and start, I don't have it, because then you're starting in lack. You want to start with, mmm, it feels so good to have that, because your feelings your emotions, all that energy is going to radiate it out and it's going to be a magnet for what's out there to kind of come towards you. So you won't have to do all the work. You just, the work is inside, right? The clarity is inside. And once you have all that, trust it. Trust yourself, trust life, trust your heart, trust the energy that is emanating from your being to be the magnet to what is really important to you, to what is really meant for you, and to who you really are. It's such a nice week coming up. It is such a magnificent opportunity coming up. I want you to be fully on board. All right. So if you are enjoying this reading and you are on my YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe, leave a like or a heart uh, and a positive comment for myself and for whoever is reading it. If you have questions, reach out to me. It's always easier when you tag me because I get the notifications. If you write to me um, and we're not friends on that platform, I might not even see it. But if you tag me, if you write uh, a note or anything like that, it'll be so much easier for me to see it. And on this note, I am going to wish you a splendid, terrific, amazing week, a fantastic new moon celebration and solar eclipse. Let the fire of this new moon just kind of rise up in you. Feel guided, feel inspired, and go for it. Sending you so much love. Mm and like, and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.